Hello guys, this is Krishna. Thank you for joining me on this new video. Uh, what we're gonna see today, uh, it's a question that get asked quite a bit, is how many application can you fit on the server? So what I just did here is I started about 20 application. I actually uh, started about 20 application on this uh, single server over here. And we're gonna see how the server is handling that. So I am on Cloudways. If you don't already have an account and you know you want to open an account, maybe try it out. Uh, under the description, you're gonna find a link over here. This is a referral link. It's gonna provide you with a free trial. But as well, you could use the coupon that you're seeing here to get an extra 10% off for the next three months. Okay. With that being said, let's jump in here. So um, I have this uh, server that I just started. And this server here is really a very, very, very basic server. Um, you would not use it in the production. At least Cloudways do not recommend it. And I would not recommend it as well. There is not a lot of resources there. It's just a one gigabyte server. And basically, it is a digital ocean server. If I just go over here, um, just type stuff like this and this is the configuration that I follow over here it's just uh, one gigabyte 25 gigabyte of SSD RAM one terabyte of, tra of transfer and one, one core one core processor so very very basic and you're gonna see over here as well they say they don't re really recommend it maybe it is for testing or staging yes but for production you know you need to select something else so with that being said um, you're gonna see over here on the server I have about 20 applications right and I actually just uh, provided with a number there so this is the applications that I have uh, we're gonna have a look at that but before we decide to do that let me come back here to the server and I'm gonna come up here to monitoring right so when I'm gonna select that what this is gonna provide us is gonna be a server of uh, the resources of the current server. So this is a little bit off. Usually it stays a little bit around 30%. Uh, um, let me just refresh just to see. Could be that it is a 1%, but sometimes, um, yeah, so seems like that's the case. So you see over here, I have a lot of about 20 um, website, and it seems like we still have enough resources. Right, you gotta be careful with that, and you're probably gonna you go you're probably gonna notice that if you decide to do it, um, when you can have like all the servers there, if those servers are just at rest, you know nobody's really um, visiting those servers, using resources on the server, or you're not really working on the servers, adding plugins and all the stuff. Yeah, you know that's okay. So I would say if it's a one page or website. Um, we don't have a problem, right? You should you should be fine, right? Just a brochure website, that's okay. When you go in and you start to add uh, plugins and some of the other things that that, that comes with uh, a little bit more robust websites, then you're gonna see it's gonna start to get sluggish really quickly, real fast, right? So if I come up here, application-wise details, you're gonna see that. Uh, I have about 20 applications that I just loaded here. You're going to see for the first 10 over here, the size is a little bit different. That's because I have loaded into those applications. I have uh, loaded a certain theme. You know, I, I, we're going like, to have a look at it. I use an Astra uh, theme and I actually use a template uh, for it. So different templates just to see how, how it will work. But as well, as you will see, the number of plugins on those websites is very minimal right the rest over here they all have the same size that's just because that's the default um the default wordpress application that has been loaded here right so with that being said let's go and have a look really quickly i'm just gonna open them uh all at once like this so we're gonna have a look at how it works so i'm just gonna open the first 10 and what you're gonna notice, let's go ahead and have a look. So this is website number one. Like I say, if that's all you're doing, if that's all you have over here, shouldn't be a big problem. Um, but you're gonna notice it could take a little while. It could start to get sluggish when you have like a lot of applications. So right now, because I have opened them all at once, nothing is happening now. If I go back to the server over here, 
and try to see the, the, the CPU of usage here. It's probably going to be all the way, um, we're probably going to be using all, all of it. So let me just see, it's taking a little while. Usually it's a little bit faster than that. Here we go. So this is what you're seeing here. Just because you're using all those resources all at the same time, this is this is what you're gonna see. This is gonna be a problem, all right? So uh, again, if it's just uh, one, uh, if it's just um, you can have all those application there, but if they don't get used too much all at the same time, you're fine. But if you go ahead and trying to load 20 uh, website on just a uh, one gigabyte of uh, 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 resources that we loaded there, then we're gonna have a problem. But let's have a look at it. This is a website that we had here, right? So this is one website. The other website, I just uh, selected uh, this over here. Okay, this is another one that I, that I, that I loaded as well. This is another one, just different, just different themes that are loaded there uh, for the first 10, right? So this is another one. This is another one. This is another one. And the last two, this is a, a, another one. And we have this one as well. So just different themes that are loaded here. If I go back over here, and uh, I try to load. Uh, so the other application that we have over here, they don't have a theme, right? So I just select those. You're gonna see that this is just the default uh, WordPress theme that comes with the application that gets loaded over here for us. Okay. So the thing that I did for the first ten, we're gonna have a look at those. So I'm just gonna come up here. Um, actually, let me just go here. And I'm going to go to the admin panel. So I'm going to select this link over here. Then I'm going to copy uh, the credentials to login. Okay. So I am logged in. And what you're going to see is if we go, we look at the appearances over, uh, the appearance over here. The theme that I have, I just loaded the Astra theme, right? Nothing else really as, uh, as of right now. And I also went to the plugin. Uh, with the plugins over here, I have added the Elementor plugin, uh, the starter template for, um, uh, for Astra. And for this one, there is a WP Forms light, right? So this is Astra that is adding those plugins when I selecting the template. And basically I came up here to template. Uh, no, it was appearance starter template over here. And this is where, you know, you select uh, the template that you want to select. But you're going to see the performance is not that great. And that's because we don't have a lot of resources. And what that's what is going to happen uh, when you load. So if we go back again to the server, we go back again to the server you're gonna see that it's still gonna be at a hundred percent over there all right so um, even though this seems like there is still a little bit more RAM that we could uh, we, we could have over here and we still have space but we have a problem with the CPU okay so um, the the thing with the RAM as well just before I continue um, it, it also really depends on the type of plugin that you have there. So if you have a lot of plugins that do uh, background jobs, such as uh, uh, doing like backups and all those kind of things, it's going to start using a lot of that as well. So for this, those websites are, really, are, are not really too robust, you know, are too, too complicated. It seems fine. So on the one gigabyte style, so what I would recommend, what I would probably say, if you just have like a brochure, uh, you just have a one pager website, you just want to list your application there, yeah, go ahead, land, load 10 application here, 15 application here, not a problem. If you have two, three applications that have, that have a lot of, uh, um, if you have applications that have a lot of traffic or use a lot of plugins, you know, 
I would not recommend first of all I would not recommend a one gigabyte you will definitely need to at least two, two gigabyte two core minimum right so that's what I would say but it's definitely possible to have a lot of um, a lot of WordPress application on one server so if this over here happens to you the way you solve it is you come up here so you're gonna you need to be on the server you need to select the server you're gonna come up here to vertical or uh, vertical set scaling and you need to uh, come up here and select the server size with uh, digital ocean so this is a digital ocean uh, server with digital digital ocean linub and vulture uh, it says server size so when you're selecting as, as at the same time you're selecting the size of the server with the uh, the the space uh, for the storage uh, but as well you can also select the RAM and the CPU so over here if we move it up we're gonna come just over here so now it's giving us 2 gigabyte of RAM 50 gigabyte of SSD 2 terabyte we still have one core actually I think it's, unless we're gonna go with two cores right now because the CPU was actually uh, being a problem for us right um, instead of the, the RAM so we, we you will need to be at least at two core over here uh, if we, you have a setup the way I have it there so with that being said I just need to come up here scale now um, so it's just giving us some um, uh, some warning here so one thing with the digital ocean uh, server is if you scale up you can't really scale back down uh, you know and go back just easily come back here and select another one of one gigabyte it, that's not the process what you will need to do is actually clone the website uh, clone the server and with the new server that you're going to be cloning you're going to select the right configuration that you want that will be you know something with a little bit less power that we have here so i'm just going to click on proceed over here it's going to take a little while uh, i'm going to stop here i'm going to come back when it's done all right guys so you will see here um, the server has just finished uh, creating itself and I'm just gonna click over here go to the server we're gonna go to monitor right now just so we can have a look and this is what we now we have now so we have about 78 gigabytes uh, over here uh, we have 36 for the usage and we have about 4 gigabytes of RAM here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna redo the same thing that I just did there where I had opened several ones all at once let's do that again so I'm just gonna say um, we're gonna go for the first 10 first all right let me see if I can go really easily to another page seems like everything is is loading there um, seems like it is a lot faster so if I go back to now the server just to have a look at it you're gonna see that we are not maxing out the CPU usage over here so this is what's happening uh, so you see on this one it looks like all those 20 websites seems to be good but as well it really depends those those where those WordPress application here seems to be uh, fairly simple but uh, it seems like it's handling that you know not too bad over here okay so this is what I wanted to show you uh, how many servers you can have really it's not a straight uh, it's not a straight ans uh, answers but it's not a straight answer but you can see can you can definitely have a lot of application on your server depending on what you have for resources um, as well on your server and what kind of plugins uh, you have uh, loaded it really depends how much you can out there so that's pretty much it uh, if you have any questions feel free to let me know but I'm gonna leave you uh, here okay thank you bye